Hello again. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd pick up kind of where I left off and make another Deneb video. I'm still a big fan. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about a couple ways to fix uh, poor performance uh, that results from having too many visuals on a, on a given report page. So if you've built uh, really dense report pages, you've, you've probably seen this. Um, there's kind of two ways that I recommend people consider. The simplest way and, and the probably easiest way is just to consider a report redesign and figure out is, is there a more efficient way to convey the same information with a smaller number of visuals on the page. Um, a more advanced solution, but uh, gives you lots of flexibility, is to leverage a visual that lets you create some multiple elements within it. Um, so you're still just refreshing a single visual, visual but it has lots of multiple uh, of chart, chart or other kinds of elements in it. And Deneb is one of those um, visuals that does that. Before we go any further, I want to uh, recognize this is something I collaborated with Anselmo Gomez on. This is actually his scenario. He was facing uh, poor report performance. Um, and he came up with much of the Vega light code that, that you'll show, and, and I helped him a little bit. Uh, and he said I could make a video about it uh, just to make this point. Uh, again, if you're finding these videos useful, please follow me on Twitter uh, and or subscribe to me uh, uh, on YouTube on the Hoosier BI channel. So let's see what we're talking about. Um, but before we do that, let's just take a look just to show. Got a really small data set here. Uh, I think it's only like 432 rows. So super small data set. I've basically just hard coded some values in for, I think, 12 different measures, uh, metrics, KPIs that you might have in a business um, and just, you know, basically hard coded the values of those. So normally you would have measures um, that would calculate all these. And so your reports would even be slower than what I'm showing today. Uh, be just because the number, the amount of data and the fact that it's already hard coded all in uh, will take care of all the, the DAC side of, of refreshing. So if I just show you uh, a report page, and this one is not very pretty, uh, but it's just built quickly to, to make the point, and so tried to kind of reproduce the same number of elements. And so what you're seeing, you can you can tell how slow it is already. And again, really small amount of data. But a lot of visuals here, and so basically for all 12 of those metrics, you know, there's you know there's this uh, single card that has a, a color indicator in it. There's a multi-row card that has two different measures, percent change in the last 12 months, and then just a simple line chart to show the the latest year of of data, All right? And so then there's there's 12 of these, and again, if you saw it when I loaded the page, but if I go over to the performance analyzer and do start recording and hit refresh visuals, you'll see um, this takes a while. So you can see how many you know, uh, elements there are. Um, I think it must be 24 multi-row cards. This one has one, and uh, this one has two measures in it. And then there's the, uh, the, the line chart as well. So you can see just how long you know, this, this has taken, you know, crazy long time. Um, and this is extra slow. My computer's running slow tonight, but hopefully the relative Im improvement will still be uh, impactful. So now if I go over and consider the first way to approach this, one is would just be to do a report redesign. And this one is just a simple matrix visual uh, that has some conditional formatting. It has a spark line in it to give you that, that line chart kind of look. Um, and this has all the same information that the previous page had, just in a much more efficient way uh, with a with a single visual. So if I if I clear this and refresh the visual, you'll see it's much faster. Um, and uh, so and so again, if you can get away with a completely different look and you can redesign it and and convey the information with a smaller number of visuals, that's definitely the way you should go. Uh, however, if you do have a certain look you're going after, after uh, a more advanced way, um, but a way that's very powerful and can give you a great look and report, um, as well as a lot of flexibility, is to use a visual like Deneb, which is based on Vega Light and has some great features to it where you can actually make multiple uh, chart elements and concatenate them all together. And so you can see this one here. Again, this, this is still running kind of slow. Um, 
but this is all a single visual. And again, this is not pretty either, uh, but hopefully you, know, you can see that I've kind of reproduced what we saw um, on the first page where we've got you know, this one measure here with a color indicator. We've got the two measures here uh, and then the, the line chart below. And so this is all a, a single visual. If I do the refresh, you can see it's, it's way faster than uh, the one I showed you uh, before. And so, again, um, it takes, there's a learning curve to pick this up, uh, but it's well worth it because it gives you a ton of flexibility. And I'll just go into edit mode here just to give you the gist of this. I'm not going to do a detailed build on this one because it's not very pretty and nobody should want to uh, replicate this exact visual. But I just wanted to show uh, the gist of it. And so, you know, basically this is a, a facet, you know, off, off that metrics, uh, metric column that I have. So those 12 values, so that's, you know, going across the top here. So basically it's a facet in columns to put all 12 of these groups of charts side by side. So that's the facet part. And then you have to do the, the spec part, which is the, you know, what's the visual inside, you know, uh, each of those. So I'll just collapse some of this stuff up here and basically, you know, it's a V concat of two visuals, or, or sorry, two um, more detailed specs, uh, right? So that's just a high level structure. And then if we expand each of these, I think the bottom one is simpler. And this is just the simple um, line chart part where we've got the date encoding. Um, and then we've got just the, the green line uh, there. So this is, again, a very straightforward visual um, to make in Deneb. Uh, the other one, you know, has more elements and is uh, more to it. Um, and because there was multiple rows, you know, we had to do some aggregation uh, inside the visual. So there's this transform aggregate where I'm taking a, a mean score, um, you know, defining that as something and then using that um, in the visual. And then, you know, um, creating this mark here for the, the circle uh, with an outline. And then uh, we have the encoding here and using a condition to set the color. Uh, again, not going to go through this in detail. Um, then uh, providing the value here. So again, layering all these things together inside of this, this small area here. Again, I had to do an aggregate to get the mean score. Um, that's a text mark to get that. Um, still building on there. Uh, we can uh, add some text there with the last 12. Um, and, you know, we can format the numbers. You know, again, another text mark there. So, again, this is a fairly complex bit of, of Deneb. Um, but, again, if you really need that look and you're starting to have report performance issues, um, you can start learning this and, and build this. And, you know, once you get the hang of the pattern, you know, building it out and, and replicating or, or modifying code you find online to, to just get that certain look or certain functionality that you're looking for, um, the learning curve isn't too bad. It's, it's code, but, but I still would consider this fairly low code. Um, so, again, I just want to do a quick video um, just to highlight that this is possible. Uh, and again, if you have a specific look you're trying to do, um, it's it's well worth learning to neb, not just for multi-element visuals, but for all the other great stuff you can do with it. And so I'll continue to make um, videos that highlight some of the the power you can you can have with the neb visual. Okay.